The panel is discussing economic freedoms. I was touching a little bit about uh, Reagan's uh, pillars of freedom, economic, opportunity, and uh, political, but also in what I deal with a lot, which is the financial marketplace as well. The, the point that we want no more bailouts in the marketplace, that we don't want the government stepping in and picking winners and losers all the time, that we don't want the government basically taking taxpayer funds and deciding where those dollars go to, to the disadvantage of the economy and our liberties at home. The wind is certainly at our back at this point in time. If you think we had this discussion a year ago, we'd be saying, well, Ob President Obama was just sworn in, the media was all with him, um, the, we lost seats in the House. In my own state of New Jersey, we lost seats. Um, they were all about talking about going through a stimulus bill, a um, cap-and-trade bill, a health care bill. That was all coming, about to come to us. But we stopped the uh, cap-and-trade bill. The health care bill has uh, slowed down and maybe is dead as far as the pr president's plan right now. And now we actually see momentum on the one hand. And for Republicans, we also see a number of recruits coming out of, the, out of all areas of being excited again to run that we haven't seen in the past. And so we put that together with the resources, which is the people, we should be successful very well in November. I think it will. I mean, we had the, obviously down in Virginia, you had New Jersey, you had Massachusetts. Uh, in New Jersey, what you don't hear on the national news is you had a lot of local trends as well. Um, I see municipal, some county uh, executive seats as well. You don't hear about that, but that was all going in the right direction as far as we're concerned. And they're good business people, financial people, um, and fiscally conservative people. So come November, things look pretty good for New Jersey. Never too late for bipartisanship, but you know, we're really getting mixed messages out of this administration. On the one hand, he says, I want to sit down with you and hear your ideas and discuss them and what have you. On the other hand, we have uh, uh, Pelosi and Reid saying, we're going full speed ahead. We've already had the deal. We're going to put this bill in the House and then the Senate and get the deal done. So why exactly would we be going to the White House if he is not telling his own party leaders to hold back, let's go back to square one, let's go open a blank page and where we can actually have a give and take. So I'm looking to hear that from the White House um, before we say this is actually going to be a true bipartisan meeting on the 25th. The Obama administration has been saying we've been in the party of no for a long time, but of course no is a good thing when you're saying no to uh, bailouts, no to excessive spending and the like. But we are also the party of no, K-N-O-W, in the sense that we have presented plans. We have solutions to whether it's the uh, financial marketplaces, whether it's the issue of the energy and the economy. We have presented them. Administration has turned a blind eye to them, but if we get back in office um, come November this year and swearing in in January again, we will be able to hit the ground running with these proposals and hopefully begin to turn the economy around in the right direction again.